In this video, I'm gonna kind of explain how go high level iframe calendar conversion tracking works. And this is mainly to promote my services. You can hire me to handle go high level conversions for you. And I will probably create a, a product that's a Google Tag Manager uh, container, which you are able to import to Google Tag Manager in a few clicks. You just import the file in and you are tracking go high level conversions that way. But in this video, I'm going to kind of explain how my setup works and kind of give you general ideas on how you can track go high level conversions. Okay, let's start off with the basics. So here I have a test Squarespace site and here you guessed it, we have an iframe with the go high level widget here. So if this is the scenario, then this is kind of the video and these services are for you. All right, switching to another tab. So the way this conversion tracking works is that because this is an iframe, it's not really part of our main website. So, so from the point of view of our main website or Google Tag Manager, this iframe is kind of uncharted territory or kind of area where we don't really know what happens without within these borders. And the reason is that because it's an iframe, we simply do not have access to anything that happens inside of it. So you can you can kind of visualize it this way. We don't know what happens. However, go high level is kind enough to share an uh, uh, an a, a JavaScript message event, and it's gonna kind of uh, share that message from the iframe to our main website to the parent website. So what we can do is we can go to Google Tag Manager, and we can create a listener tag, that's going to be listening for these specific events. And while I this is a setup that I will sell, either as a service or as a purchasable downloadable product. So I'm not gonna kind of give it away fully because you know, I have a mortgage to pay and got to keep the lights on. But I will reveal that the event that you are after is this MSG. Well, this thing that you hear messenger dash booking dash complete. And when we receive this message using a JavaScript iframe message listener, we can then push the conversion data into a data layer, I'm using event called go high level booking complete. And in our triggers here in Google Tag Manager, I have a matching trigger go high level booking complete for the iframe. So this event name matches the one in our data layer, which is fired when we hear a success, success, successful iframe form submission. All right, so let's take this for a test drive. So I'm gonna close these windows here and I'm gonna click preview. So let's try this out. All right, so here in our tag assistant, we can see that our iframe conversion listener tag has been fired. That means that it's now actively listening for any messages that come from this iframe. Okay, I'm actually gonna clean up my tag assistant just so we can kind of clearly see what's going on. And now I'm gonna click schedule meeting. Your meeting has been scheduled. Let's take a look at Google tag assistant. Here we can see a couple of events, uh, booking details. So I'm actually taking this one step further and I'm grabbing all of these uh, variables. So we have appointment start time, we have appointment title, 
we have email, we have phone number, uh, etc. So these uh, are two different messages. But the reason I am also listening for this Go High Level Booking Details event, or sorry, uh, that's the event in the data layer, not uh, e the message uh, the iframe is sending. But either way, the reason I'm sending, um, storing these email and phone number mainly are because Google Ads enhanced conversion tracking. I have written a guide on Google Ads enhanced conversions here. You can check it out. But the idea is that we are not just sending an anonymous conversion that someone converted. We are uh, telling Google Ads that, hey, John, with this specific email and this specific um, phone number converted. So the benefits are increasing conversion rate Uh, so higher conversion rates and more accurate conversion data. All right, so that's the reason I'm listening to the previous event. That's that kind of gives us this uh, useful information, and I'm using it for the Google Ads enhanced conversion uh, configuration. So the user provided data is going to include the email and the phone number. All right, let's take a look at the main event, the go high level booking. Uh, so this was the booking details and this is the booking complete. Here we get a couple of other ones. We get the calendar ID, customer ID and the fingerprint. I think one of these was um, or some of these are from the second event and some of them were from the previous event. Uh, either way, we will have all of that in our data layer. All right, so moving on to Google Analytics debug view where we can see I'm also tracking the go high level iframe visibility as kind of a high funnel pre, it's like a step in the right direction. At least they see the widget. So whether you have a specific place they need to scroll, a specific booking page, or whether you use a like a pop-up modal window uh, opened by a button, we can track whether they, they have seen the widget. So they are probably ready for booking. And then I'm sending a couple of different events. I'm sending generate lead. So this is like a built-in Google Analytics for event, if you want to use that one. Uh, another option is the go high level appointment booked, which I have already turned into a conversion event. If I were to use generate lead, I would also turn this into a conversion event here under data display and conversions. All right, and there we have it. So your meeting has been scheduled. This, uh, we listen for this message. We populate the data layer. The data layer fires this trigger. The trigger gener uh, fires are Google Analytics events, whether it's to generate lead or go high level appointment booked, whether we want to use a built in event that's already there or a custom event to make it really clear what uh, what generate lead means. This may be useful if you have freelancers or new employees or just generally to see exactly what is going on. Go high level appointment booked is more clear than generate lead, but generate lead uh, has some benefits of a built in event. And with these events firing, as we can see in our tag assistant, they are firing uh, the custom event generate lead and the appointment booked. We are also sending a Google Ads conversion. But for this demo, <coughs> I'm only kind of demonstrate the analytics one. But yeah, Google Ads has also received this conversion. But yeah, here in the debug view, we can see that my Apple MacBook has now sent these conversion events and Google Analytics has received them. All right, so this setup that you see here, this whole Google Tag Manager setup consists of quite a lot of tags, uh, our triggers, 
and all of these variables, these data layer variables, which can be uh, used for Google ads, some of them for Google Analytics. Uh, for Google Analytics, we cannot send personal data. So the full name or phone number or email, things like that are not allowed. So always keep in mind that sending personally identified information is against uh, Google Analytics terms and conditions. So better not uh, do that. Laws across countries, territories kind of vary, but uh, Google says don't do it, so we won't do it. However, as mentioned before, the phone number and the email are important for the enhanced conversion tracking. And the way this works is that uh, it has hashes the data, so it turns it into a format where you cannot kind of reverse it back to the uh, usable form, but Google is still able to track enhanced conversions by comparing the hashed version of the email and the phone number. If you don't understand any of that, don't worry. Uh, but yeah, main point is you can hire me to do this for you. And I will, again, probably create a product which you can buy, hopefully save you hours, days, even weeks of time just by being able to uh, import this thing with a few clicks and have a reliable setup tested and set, uh, done by a professional with quite a lot of uh, experience in the field. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was useful. And again, get in touch if you would like to hire me to handle go high level conversion tracking for you. Thanks.